Trial. This is Blake's 7 Series 2 banger episode. And again, guys, I'm telling you, I know I'm shilling for this show. I am trying my best to be objective and I'm trying to pick out things that suck. It's just it's just so difficult because I love all of it. Uh, I mean, this episode is awesome. We're going to talk about it using my space system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two's the best you can get in any category. And we're going to have twos, a lot of twos. Okay, Travis is going on trial. This entire trial is awesome. Servalan is planning to get rid of Travis in an easy, efficient way. She doesn't want him to blab out about what, you know, her mistakes but there's these two other guys who are looking to see if there's a weakness in Servaland's game plan. Travis, on the other hand, is unpredictable. You don't know what he's going to do here. It seems like he's going quietly, but then boom, something else happens and he's back. In the meantime, Blake is sort of on the separate mission here. And it's cool how they combine them because Blake ends up saving, <laughs> ends up saving or helping Travis, um, which was awesome. I mean, I mean, this is a two out of two. I absolutely loved the storyline here. It's great. Um, I'm gonna, let's talk about the pacing. The pacing's two out of two. It's really fast paced. I mean, because there are two stories going on at the same time, each one is just really interesting. The Blake stuff, I don't think the Blake stuff was as interesting as the Travis stuff, but the Blake stuff is cool. He He leaves the team. On the Liberator, he goes down to this planet, which ends up being this living being, which is so cool. I'll get to the artistry of that in a second. And he meets Zill, which is like like a sort of a parasite, but like a, a human-sized parasite on this planet. It's pretty cool. So they're cutting back and forth. So it actually makes the pacing a lot better because as the trial goes on, if that's getting stale, it cuts back to Blake's guys. Now, it's not a, the story wasn't as interesting on the Blake side because you know that they're going to stick together. Blake is basically telling them, hey, guys... I'm going to give you some time to think if you want to stay with me. I'm going to take some time to think to see if I want to continue this over the death of Gan. What's going to happen? You know what's going to happen. They're going to continue on together. However, it's still done very nicely, and I wasn't bored for a second. Um, the artistry. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 2 for the artistry. Look, again, this show, budget, all that stuff, I'm comparing it to itself. I'm not comparing it to Star Trek or Doctor Who, or Star Wars, though you could compare it to Doctor Who because you'd think it's around the similar kind of budgetary constraints. Um, and it's fine. Um, everything looks cool to me. I mean, they got the planet. It's opening up. The ground's opening up. You got that Zill character. She's just wearing like, you know, like a jumpsuit. But, it, it you know, they're trying to give you something cool that you haven't seen before. Like, I don't know. And the, the trial room is really neat. Uh, like the, the way that or the, the courtroom is pretty cool. Um, they go back and forth a bit. I, I know I'm being maybe overly generous on this one uh, in this particular episode for this score, but I, you know, it, I do feel that they're creating a cool world of Blake 7 that feels like a cool place to be in and tell stories in. Uh, it would have been a great RPG, you know, release an RPG, Blake 7 RPG. Maybe there is an RPG. If there is one, let me, let me know. Um, so everything looked good to me. Uh, the characters, I mean, two out of two, bloody hell, everybody's awesome here. Let's talk about Travis. I already talked about the actor changing already, so we're not going to get into that. We're just going to pretend now it's Travis. That's it. He's fantastic in this. The guy's got, and even Servaland says, you know, too bad I, he's got to die because he's like the best guy I've got. And uh, he's amazing in this, the way he's like figured out everything and he knows what's going on. And he's, and as soon as he sees his chance, he takes it to escape. Awesome. Um, Servaland bloody awesome too great villains this this show out of my top three favorite shows star trek doctor who and, Bl and blake seven blake seven has the smartest and best villains like they get victories one of the problems with a lot of episodic television the classic stuff is that the good guys are always going to win and then it's always going to be reset in the beginning of the next episode that's sort of your your standard that's a sitcom standard it's not exactly, it's kind of an action movie, an action show standard, right? Like Knight Rider or A-Team or any of these shows, um, Six Million Dollar Man, right? I don't remember any time, like did Steve Austin, 
I can't remember. I haven't seen that. I mean, maybe I might do that for, maybe I review those. Like did Jamie Summers ever lose? I don't, I don't remember. Maybe she did. I could, I could be completely wrong and she's lost a bunch of times, but it feels like Blake takes hits and loses guys. And you're like, wow, it just makes everything more tense. Like you're always like, shit, are they going to get out of this one? I, I don't know if they will. This one was neat because I was just like, there's no way Travis is dying, right? Like, come, come on. He's just too awesome. Um, so I love that Blake inadvertently helped him. I think it's just it's such a wicked idea. Um, Avon, of course, is the best character of all time. And um, there's t it's weird because they've got this tension with Blake and Avon. But I know there's a great line um, towards the end here of season two uh, or series two where he says, oh, I've always trusted you, you know, for what it's worth or whatever. For what it's worth, I've always trusted you. Man, I love that. I can't wait for that one. But yeah, like, like Avon's going to do the right thing to help. That's the thing that's so special about the character. He says things and you be almost believe what he's saying, but you know that he won't do it and that he is a good guy in the end. It's just kind of so cool. That's what's so, so great about the character. Um, I mean, the enjoyment factor, of course, is a two out of two, you know, duh. This is a 10 out of 10, super awesome episode. There's so many bangers in this in this series. Even when I'm being really critical, you could give this a 9.5 if you wanted to knock the artistry a little bit. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I like this episode. I thought it was amazing. Uh, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I'm just looking at my notes. Did I miss anything? Travis is found guilty. That's kind of cool. Um, a lot of cool little things that happen. Like the guard gives him a drink and you're like, oh, was the guard just being nice or what? Or is it a plant? You know? All this stuff, it just plays such a great factor in this series. Um, the back and forths are amazing. So there you have it. I love this one. 10 out of 10. Um, in the comments, let me know what you thought. And uh, if you like my space system, please like the video. Consider subscribing. Share the video out to your friends. Let them know that Blake Seven's the best. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. Until next time.